How's it going, my peeps? It is now time for the Hell in a Cell production game video. In the background is Big Show versus Sheamus. I'm actually gonna see this Sunday at Hell in a Cell. All right, I'm just kidding. You didn't go back in time. This is not a prediction game video, especially not about Hell in a Cell, which was like two, three pay-per-views ago. Uh, but this is actually the match you guys picked. Big Show versus Sheamus inside Hell in a Cell online match. Shop I'm playing as Big Show here, and by you guys picked. Yesterday, I posted up a video saying on Facebook right now, on the Facebook fan page, you could vote for the match you want to see me post tomorrow. Tomorrow, now being today. And the options were, online last man standing match. Second option was, Randy Orton vs. Ryback online match. Third match, or third option, whatever, was a the shortest WD13 online matchup. And the fourth option, this one, Big Show vs. Sheamus, inside Hell in a Cell, online matchup. And you guys picked this one. The Hell in a Cell match got the most votes. And then, following that, the second one with the most votes was, I believe, Randy Orton vs. Ryback. And then, after that, it was the shortest online matchup. And then with no votes at all was the last man standing match. I was kind of surprised about that. Because I had fun playing that last man standing match. But I guess, you know, you guys wouldn't know since I didn't, you know, specify and say, you know, option number one, the awesome last man standing match I had, really fun. And option two, terrible match I had. No, I'm not, say <laughs> not saying the second option was a terrible match. I don't, I don't even remember. I'm just giving you guys an example here. But, uh, yeah, so you guys picked this match. So... I'm posting this up. This is actually the longest option you could have picked. Around 13 minutes long. Hell in a Cell match. You'll see, you'll, you'll see in this match, I'm trying to get Sheamus. Maybe not right now, but maybe in a few moments or in a few minutes. I'm trying to get Sheamus outside the Hell in a Cell. And I'm like, I'm like Irish whipping the guy in the corner. Uh, that you're supposed to Irish whip him with. Or he's supposed to be in. So you can do the finisher and then go through the Hell in a Cell structure. But... I freaking run into obstacles and stuff like that. I, and I Irish whip him when I Irish whip him in the corner. He's like on the wrong side, or he runs away, or <laughs> still steps get in the way, and we both hit it. There was there was a bunch of fails before the actual success where we got out of the Hell in a Cell structure. You'll see that we also get on top of the Hell in a Cell. Man, if you ask me, make sure it's just shameless that Hell in a Cell should have been inside Hell in a Cell. I mean, if you're gonna have a show called Hell in a Cell, at least have a few Hell in a Cell matches. They only have one. The past couple of years, they had a bunch of Hell in a Cell matches, like, you know, three three Hell in a Cell matches per uh, per show. Basically, all the big matches, the WWE Championship match, the World Title match, and some other big match. But this year, they, they only had CM Punk versus Ryback. In my opinion, if you're just gonna have one Hell in a Cell match, why not just do away with the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view and just have it at a random pay-per-view to finish off a feud or something like that. You know, they kicked off the Ryback versus CM Punk feud. Or, uh, you know, had their first match inside Hell in a Cell. Pretty much, you know, at least that's what it, that's what it seems like just because, you know, it was a Hell in a Cell pay-per-view coming up. So, you know, they had to have at least one Hell in a Cell match. But, uh, yeah, you know, but... Like a couple years ago, we had on Cell matches at like SummerSlam or uh, Survivor Series or whatever. Whenever basically it was fitting, you know, this big feud between these two main eventers. These guys hate each other so much. And, you know, you want to have this big blow off match after this match, it's over between the two. Have Hell in a Cell. And also, speaking of Hell in a Cell, Big Show and Sheamus, if, that, if the match was Hell in a Cell, do you guys think the match would be better or worse? Or really nothing, uh, nothing would change. Uh, personally, if you ask me, I think it would be either the same or a little bit better. The reason why I say maybe the same is because they don't use the Hell in a Cell structure that much anyways. But if they did use it in the matchup, then I guess maybe it could add to the match. Make it a bit better. As long as they had the same spots as the match they had at Hell in a Cell. You know, with the big show kicking out of the bro kick. Shames kicking out of the knockout punch and then Big Show dodging Shames' second bro kick and hitting the knockout punch for the victory. You could have had that, but also add in the Hell in a Cell structure and they could have used that. As you can see, Shamus here kicked out of a knockout punch. Anyways guys, it's a pretty entertaining matchup. Unfortunately, I won't be able to commentate over the whole match. 
But like I said, it's an entertaining matchup on its own. And uh, right now, I just got some things to do. I'm probably going to go shovel some snow right now. Since in Canada, there's a bunch of snow right now. Especially in Quebec. And as you all know, all of us in Canada live in igloos. Just kidding about that. In case anybody took me seriously. <laughs> we don't live in igloos. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. If you do, you can feed me more thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. With that said, I'm out guys. See ya. Don't get up. Not this. He's looking at it again. That's it. He's done. There's a cover. Two. Reversal. A battle of wills now. He's in a bad spot here. What a boot! Uh-oh. Pure power, just physically dominant. Oh, don't do this! Oh, right into the cage wall! Oh, come on now. That was just uncalled for. Oh, what an underhanded move. Sheamus, the first ever Irish-born WWE Champion. And he's heading back inside the ring. And again, he moves to the outside. This is one brutal Irishman. I'm scared to see what he has planned here tonight. A big fist to the gut. Oh, what a whip. Rattling every fiber of his being. What's he going to do here? What's he... And he was just set careening into those steel steps. Oh, no. Wait a minute, Cole, what's he going to do here? And that punch lands hard. How much more? How much more are you willing to pay to win this match? This is unreal. He's spending more time outside the ring than in it. Again, this is no disqualification. That's right. If he finds an object under that... Oh! King, did you see that? Oh, man. Oh, big shot to the midsection. Wait, King, what's he doing now? Oh, no! DDT! DDT on the steel chair! Oh, man! Hey! He's going for it again! Oh, my! What a move! Hooking away. I don't know how he keeps kicking out. Textbook suplex. What's he gonna do with that steel chair? Oh, what an impact! Steel against bone! Oh, and he gets cracked again with that steel chair. You've gotta be kidding me! Not another chair shot. I don't like this at all. I mean, this kind of treatment, he's got it! And he doesn't stay down for long. The WWE Universe watching Hell in a Cell live on pay-per-view around the world. From Canada to Australia, Luxembourg and Malaysia. And of course, on the Armed Forces Network. A textbook reversal. Can he follow up? Ouch! Not today. Too fast. Oh, and he got dropped. What a counter that was. Dodges to the side of that one. And there's some more emotion on display. Oh! What an elbow drop. Look out what's going on here. That was unique. Oh, man, is he fired up. 
Sheamus enjoys showing absolutely no remorse. He is definitely going to have to have those ribs looked at after this match. Great move. A swift kick. And the knuckles connect. And there he goes again. Cole, what's he got in mind? He's got a nasty-looking object in his hands. Look at this. He's just barely moving. I'm not sure he can get back to his feet. And he put everything he had behind that Irish whip. What's he going to do here? What's he going to do here? Oh, his spine bending and cracking from that back. Look, look. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Through the wall. That chain link wall is just busted free. I can't believe the carnage in this match. And now with the cell wall down, King, this situation will only escalate. And now his opponent is going up after him. Oh, this is so dangerous. Look how high up there they are. And again, the mind games are played. What a move! Can he capitalize? Uh oh, look at this! Ow! Trying to put him away! Oh my gosh, through the cell! The cell's given way. The steel ripped open after that collision, and his anatomy suffered a tremendous fall of over 20 feet. And now he's in pursuit. I can't believe this. What are we going to see here? They're by the edge. For the love of God, don't do it. And he, oof, he just got launched off that cell. And there was nothing below except for hard concrete. Michael, I think we just saw the end of this match. How can it not be? How do you get thrown off a 30-foot high cell and, and continue to battle? It, it can't happen. Boy, he is really tired now. That tank of his has to be reading empty. It has to be, King. But I still... He's setting it up. Look at those eyes. Oh, yeah, this could be big. Uh oh trying to put him away. Wow, that's got to be it. Into the cover, hooks the leg. Three. Big show wins. By God, what a force of nature.